Whale is a company that's best known for its water pumps, but they've also been having a lot of success recently with their space heater. I'm joined by Richard Beauville to explain what makes the Whale Underfloor Space Heater so different. So Richard, why would people want to have an underfloor heater in their caravan? Well, the, the Whale Underfloor Heater brings a number of unique benefits, uh, both to the manufacturers, but also to the users as well. Uh, to the manufacturers, uh, they have gained um, a number of advantages by placing the heater under the floor. They have been able to create a lot more space inside a caravan, which of course is a premium in a caravan situation. Um, so with that space, they have been very creative um, in using it for extra wardrobe space or uh, bunk space, but also it's given them quite a bit of flexibility in, in their, their layouts. So what caravans have the whale on floor heater in? So at, at present, um, there's a number, including Billy Orion, um, the Eldest Explorer range, Avanti range, Venus range, and also all the auto sleepers caravans. And uh, what are the main advantages of, of having the, the heater? Well, the main advantages of the heater um, are qu quick heat, instant heat, um, very intuitive controls. So from a user point of view, it's, it's obvious what, what uh, power source you put on, what power setting you have, um, and you can get your caravan heated up very quickly. Then obviously this, the space uh, and weight benefits that the product brings. Now by underfloor heating, uh, don't actually mean that it heats the floor, it's just mounted underneath the caravan, is that right? That, that's correct, yes, it's mounted underneath the caravan, unlike the traditional systems which are within the caravan living space, so that's the, the advantage. And um, wh what makes them so lightweight and so compact? Um, well it's a very, very simple um, heating system, a very simple installation in terms of the flues. Um, which saves a lot of additional componentry, so it, it's a quicker install as well as having fewer components, which ultimately sa saves the weight um, uh, and also the lightweight construction that we have. And it's made uh, in your plant in Northern Ireland, is that yes, right? Yes, everything's made here um, in this manufacturing cell in, in Bangor, Northern Ireland. And how does it help having all the parts from the heater made in one factory? Well, with having all the, the components here within the factory um, and the supply of those coming directly to the factory, it gives us much greater control and flexibility. So we have been able to um, do unique offerings for the manufacturers um, and also in terms of our um, response time, in terms of lead times, uh, they're obviously significantly quicker than, than would be achieved not having manufacturing here in the factory. And uh, this system can be retrofitted to caravans, can't it? Yes, that's right. There are a number of models, uh, including onboard models that can be retrofitted to the caravan, both space heater and water heater. And your rapid heat up water system, that's been very popular as well, hasn't it? That's right. Within the last um, year and a half, we've brought out rapid heat. So we've been able to reduce the size and capacity of the water heater, but yet put more power input. And what that means for the end user is if you forget to turn on your heat for maybe a shower, you can have a shower within 12 minutes, the, the full capacity can be heated up. And also means that you could have two showers within the space of 25 minutes. So it gives the user much more flexibility and, and, and quick access to, to a shower. But the underfloor heater isn't the only thing that Whale have been working on for caravans. I'm joined by Adam Hurst, who's going to talk us through their new 4 kilowatt heater, which is going to be in some of the larger Elders fans for 2013. Uh, so Adam, what can you tell me about this new product? Well, basically, this is a new heater that we've been working on. And not only is it, it's basically, it's the most powerful heater that we've ever had. Space heater, that is. Um, it also, it works off the same kind of principles, so it's all still going to be an underfloor mounted heater. But effectively, it's a much, much more powerful on the gas side of things. But more, more than that, the key part of it is that we've developed a new sort of intelligent control that allows you to run gas and certain amounts of electric at the same time, which again is completely new to us. So by intelligent control, it responds to the temperature in the caravan? Uh, absolutely. Not so much the temperature in the caravan, but the temperature of the air. So we're, we're able to monitor the temperature of the air that's actually being pumped through the duct system. And effectively, if it's once it reaches a certain point, we can cut back the amount of electricity that's actually being put in on top of the gas. And how does that help caravanners? Well, basically it helps caravanners because they can put it onto one setting, or boost setting as we've called it, and that enables them to get a really, really quick, a very rapid heat up, as long as they've got their gas and their electric available. But it means that then they're not wasting extra energy by keeping those, those high power units running all the time. So it automatically cuts back just to make sure it's making the most economic use of their power as possible. Um, and so why do we have two outlets on the bottom? Uh, well basically the two outlets mean that we have a much more flexible duct system because you can feed one out straight to the front and another set of ducts straight to the back of the van. So it's a, it's a massive increase in your flexibility for the van as well as the overall heat output. And is that what allows you to go into bigger caravans now? That's partially what allows us to go into bigger caravans, yeah. It certainly helps us a lot with heat distribution. 
so we can make it a lot more even in the likes of the bigger caravans whereas previously it was you're looking at sort of one long run of ducting whereas now we can have two short ones.